Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. On my last day at Gamescom, Call of Duty pulled me aside and said, Milo, do you want to spend maybe 10 minutes or so talking to Lee Ross, the Associate Project Director for Infinite Warfare Zombies or Zombies in Spaceland, and ask him some questions that we've pulled from Facebook and Twitter and things like that. And so I said, absolutely, I'll do it. Hell yeah. And so what you're about to watch is eight minutes or so of me talking to Lee Ross and trying to figure out some more details about Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now, this is very much base level stuff in this interview, but I did manage to secure 20 plus minutes with the guy with my own questions, which I feel like is much more interesting because he talks about the perks, he talks about fate and fortune cards, he talks about Easter eggs, he talks about all sorts of stuff in that separate interview. So you can look forward to that for sure, but I've got to get it approved with Activision first. So for now, I'm going to be going with this particular interview that I did because I know this is already approved because they streamed this to their Facebook page and so they've got to be happy with it. So without further ado, this is my interview, eight minutes Q&A with Lee Ross from Infinity Ward. Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. I'm joined today at Gamescom with Lee Ross, the Associate Project Director uh, at Infinity Ward on Zombies in Spaceland. And we're going to be going through some questions that you guys have submitted to Call of Duty about the mode and talk about some of the features and things like that, okay? So the very first question that we've got from the Twitters is from Swifters, and he says, how in-depth is the storyline? As players, will we discover secrets or information about our characters or story? Well, the story is actually really deep. Uh, okay. Players will be able to unravel the story by completing Easter eggs that we've sort of spread all throughout Zombies in Spaceland. Uh, there's secrets all over the place, so we encourage people to look in every nook and cranny. Sounds good. That's very much makes me happy for sure. I love the stories. So uh, the next question is from Chucky. He says, out of all four characters, who is the leader of the group? Well, when you hear their VO when you get to play Zombies in Spaceland, they all think they're the leader. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> but really, there isn't a definitive leader, so to speak. So uh, it, it's really up to who's the best player, you know, who, who survives the, the most, gets the most headshots, uh, scores the most points. Right. That. Good stuff. Okay, yeah. next question from uh, Goggles, who says, uh, I'm a big couch gamer. Me too, me too. This one is kind of dear to my heart. Will we be able to play Infinite Warfare Zombies in split screen? Well, he can rest at ease. You can absolutely play split screen, comfy on your couch, and awesome. blast zombies away. Hell yeah, that's what <laughs> I like to hear, good stuff. So, next question is from Matters, who says, uh, what was the inspiration for this crazy unique 80s take on Call of Duty Zombies? We wanted to do something really different, and uh, we wanted to travel back in time. The 80s seemed like a really awesome place for us to go. There's such great pop culture there. Mm -hmm. uh, music, movies, clothing, hairstyles. Uh, getting into a theme park seems like a really fun place to be, right? But then you throw zombies into the mix, yep. and it gets even more crazy. So uh, we want to push the boundaries uh, for zombies in Spaceland, and we certainly want to have a lot of fun with it. And I think what we put together is going to excite fans quite a bit. It certainly seems so far like having a lot of fun with it is exactly what you've been shooting for the entire time. Some of the stuff you've got in this mode is so bonkers. We're just a little crazy. Just just a little bit, <laughs> just, just a tidbit. So next question from James, I believe, who says, is the soundtrack 80s AF? The soundtrack is 80s AF. Uh, Good stuff. It's loaded with uh, all different types of genres. Uh, you'll actually get to hear David Hasselhoff spinning that soundtrack up for us. Awesome. Um, we're not going to announce what it is just yet, but mm -hmm. more to come soon. Looking forward to that one. The soundtracks in these games are always so good, and especially with this theme. Ah, it's going to be so great. Okay, next question from Blackhand Smith, who says, Will map progression revolve around gathering points to open doors or completing objectives before opening? So this is going to be a traditional zombies experience. This will be uh, you as a team working through this map, and you're going to be using in-game cash to open doors. So you'll have your ability to just explore. Uh, there's no real objective unless you choose to. So if you want to uncover the story, push for Easter eggs, you can absolutely do that. Awesome. And you've also got the door sharing mechanic in this game, so you can buy doors together, right? Yeah, that's actually a great point. So that's new to uh, Zombies in Spaceland. So yes. uh, let's say the two of us are playing. Uh, usually I would hold out and say, you're going to have to buy that door because right. I want to buy something else myself. Yep. But this time we can actually put a little of your cash, a little of mine, and we can buy those doors together. So the burden is not just pressed on you or on me. 
uh, and it helps it helps our, our cash you know spread the wealth a little bit between us. Sounds good. Next question's from Jagger, who says, "Will there still be drops like double points or insta kill?" Absolutely. Uh, stuff. We want to keep that going. There's some really great power ups that we have there, along with the ones that are mentioned. But you know, dropping a nuke and watching zombies just burn to a crisp. It's all in there. You got to you got to keep that in for yes. sure. You could not get rid of that. Absolutely couldn't. Next question is probably quite important on this from Gaming Project. Is it all boots on the ground or no extra movement features other than maybe sliding? So we want to keep it traditional. And so players are going to be able to run, jump, slide, walk, go prone, mm -hmm. but no running on walls, no boost jumping in Zombies in Spaceland. We wanted that, we wanted to kind of keep it to that 80s feel. Uh, we know that, you know, there's a uh, boost jumping and wall running in the campaign, but for us, we wanted to keep players right down on the floor. Sounds good, awesome, and again, fits with the vibe, so I guess that makes sense. Our next question is from Bill Clippings, who says, will there be new perks in Zombies in Spaceland? Absolutely. There'll Stop. be some fan favorites that, that will make a comeback as well, uh, but we have one that's called Trailblazers, and with Trailblazers, when you slide on the ground, you actually ignite the floor, leaving a trail of fire behind you. Uh, it actually can be a defensive wall, so any zombies that walk through it, yep. they're catching on fire. That's just, it's music to my ears hearing that, seeing as we've been asking for that perk for so damn long and it's, it's becoming a reality now, so good job there, guys, good job. Uh, next question's from Wrath For Real, who says, how large will the map be? Well, this is a theme park, and theme parks tend to make you walk a whole lot. Hell yeah. So this is a big place. Uh, there's lots to explore, and you know, it's, we actually haven't shown everything in the trailer. There's spaces that... Uh, people will get to see fresh when they play Zombies in Space Land in November. Mm. And we've seen a kind of diorama of the map actually here at Gamescom, and even that wasn't the full thing. There's even more that would have been needed to add into that actual model in order to fit everything in, because there's just so much stuff. There are places that are not on that map that you get to play. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I'm so intrigued now. <laughs> I'm going to be going home and trying to find all the secret areas in the trailer and all that stuff. That's going to be happening. Next question from Boblet, who says, uh, why the breakdancing zombies? Why the hell not? It's the 1980s. That's a good I mean, answer, there was, man. There was breakdancing in the 1980s, and yep. uh, you know, one of the greatest music videos of all time, in Thriller, was really inspiring for us to get zombies in there and have them shake their butts. I'm really looking forward to all the, because you've got multiple different ways of making zombies breakdance, as far as I'm aware. So. I'm looking forward to finding every single one of these possible ways and probably different dances and all sorts of crazy stuff. I'm sure you've packed a lot in. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, last question. We'll wrap this up from Space Dog, who says, What do the posters that say Disco Devil and Nightmare Summer have to do with things? Well, they kind of point to the story. Uh, the way that this cast ended up in this film is Willard Wyler, uh, him pulling them into Zombies in Spaceland. This isn't his first foray into directing. Uh, these are sort of uh, nods back to some of the films that he's made in his past. Uh, if you explore Zombies in Spaceland carefully, you just might find some additional hints as to what those posters mean. Okay, and then alongside the, the past films and things, we've also got the Hoff, who has been plucked from, from the Earth as well, and he's in the film too. Do you want to talk a little bit about what he's doing there? Yeah, so the Hoff is uh, he's sort of your guiding light. He's the voice of Spaceland. Uh, he's helping you stay alive, and he's giving you just a few hints about Easter eggs and ways to solve some of those really tough puzzles. Sounds good. And besides that, he's mixing up that awesome 80s soundtrack that we talked about earlier. Right, because he's a DJ, right? Absolutely. Awesome stuff. He's going to be my best friend in the map. If he's helping me find Easter eggs, then we're buddies instantly, straight away. So this has been a quick little stream doing some Q&A questions from you guys at Gamescom 2016. This has been Lee Ross, Associate Project Director at Infinity Ward. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the questions. So that was that. I had 12 questions that Call of Duty had already picked in advance. I went through them, Lee gave his answers, I tagged one extra thing on the end, and then that was pretty much the whole thing. So hopefully that was enjoyable. If you feel like it was still a little lacking in information, then fret not. In the description down below, there's a link to another Lee Ross interview, which contains even more info. And then once my other interview with him is up, that will also be in the description as well. So we're already going through a load of interviews with this guy and getting a lot of information about Infinite Warfare Zombies, which is quite exciting. I gradually am getting more excited for the mode and I'm excited to play at COD XP as well. Also hoping to meet a lot of you guys at COD XP too, so that's that should be really fun, but 
Anyhow, I think I'm going to wrap things up here. So I've been Mr. Off Waffles. Thank you for watching. If you want to see another interview, then the link in the description down below is the place to click. And I'll see you guys very soon in another Zombies video. Bye-bye.